The body fat accumulated in the abdomen is harmful to health since it's not only found under the skin but also inside the abdomen around the internal organs and therefore it's related to the development of type 2 diabetes mellitus, high blood pressure, fatty liver, arteriosclerosis, obstructive sleep apnea, gout and kidney stones, among other diseases, as well as being a predictor of cardiovascular risk, which in extreme situations can lead to a heart attack or a stroke. To watch the Spanish version of this video, you can find the link in the description box. In the last 50 years, the body mass index, which establishes how much a person should weight according to their height, has been accepted as a reference to define and classify obesity. However, at present, this parameter is considered incomplete due to the new conception of fat tissue as an endocrine organ, the importance of insulin resistance in the development of cardiovascular disease, and the value of the body fat distribution. As a person ages, muscle mass tends to decrease while fat increases. This loss of muscle mass reduces the rate at which the body uses calories and additionally, body fat tends to accumulate in the abdomen. To find out if a person has too much abdominal fat, the waist circumference is measured. To do this, a tape measure is placed around the abdomen on top of the hip bone at the level of the navel. Waist measurement indirectly reveals the amount of intra-abdominal adipose tissue, often called visceral fat. For a woman, a waist more than 90 cm indicates an unhealthy concentration of fat in the abdomen and an increased risk of health problems, such as those mentioned at the beginning of this video. In men, the risk of health problems is greater with a waist that measures more than one meter. The good news is that this has a simple and natural solution, which includes home remedies and certain simple habits in the person's daily life. As for home remedies, here is one of the best recipes to avoid the accumulation of abdominal fat or to eliminate it. Celery, apple and pineapple smoothie. The required ingredients are two stacks of fresh washed celery, a green apple without seeds, a slice of pineapple, and 250 milliliters cup of water. For its preparation, the celery, apple, and pineapple should be cut into medium pieces, placed in a blender, added the water, processed, passed through a medium porosity strainer, and that's all. It's recommended to take this formula once a day during breakfast or before a hunger attack in the middle of the morning or in the middle of the afternoon. In addition to this remedy, people over 50 should focus on three essential nutrients to combat the most common changes caused by aging. Calcium for the bones, proteins for muscle mass, and vitamin B12 for proper bearing function. Both osteopenia and osteoporosis can be effectively prevented and treated with eggshells. In these diseases, the shells are even better than the drugs and supplements themselves. Calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D are three necessary components for the body to build new bones and keep them healthy and eggshells contain these components. Eggshells contain more than 90% calcium, in addition to other nutrients such as vitamin D, collagen, elastin, chondroitin sulfate, glucosamine, hyaluronic acid, calcitonin, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, zinc, iron, manganese, and copper. These components of the shells also give them medicinal qualities to combat high cholesterol levels, regulate blood pressure, and strengthen nails, a real treasure. And be amazed, one eggshell per day is enough to take advantage of all its properties. A simple way to get shells for remedy is to boil one or more eggs for 20 minutes, let them cool and dry, remove the shells, grind them in a blender, and pass them through a fine strainer. If there are still residues that don't pass through the strainer, they can be ground again. The purpose is to finally obtain a kind of flour powder from the shells. The powder can be mixed into smoothies, soups, sauces, etc. In other words, 
The eggshell powder can be consumed along with any food. The daily dose is half a teaspoon of powder, equivalent to a shell. The resulting boiled eggs can obviously be used in everyday home recipes. It's false that egg consumption raises cholesterol and triglycerides, as was believed in the past. If you don't want to pulverize the eggshell, you can simply crush it a bit, dry it, and in the afternoon place it in a container to which you add the use of two lemons. Let it rest overnight and the next morning the lemon juice will have undone the shell pieces. Then add half a cup of water, strain it, add honey to taste and it's ready to drink. It's recommended to take this preparation once a day. On the other hand, if at some point you want to diversify your food, here are two other excellent recipes to prevent or treat osteopenia and osteoporosis. Milk with sesame seeds. To make this remedy, you need 200 milliliters of milk and 10 grams of ground sesame seeds. Its preparation is simple. Heat the milk, mix it with the ground sesame seeds, and that's it. It's recommended to take it at least every third day. The other formula is oatmeal smoothie with almonds and banana. The necessary ingredients are 3 tablespoons of oat flakes, equivalent to 30 grams, 6 almonds, 1 ripe banana, 2 tablespoons of honey, and 200 milliliters of water. Put all the ingredients in the blender and beat them until you get a creamy and homogeneous drink. It's recommended to take this remedy every third day. On another point, older people tend to sit longer and exercise less. This aggravates the loss of muscle mass, so it's recommended to eat enough protein to reduce the impact of muscle wasting. Proteins are mostly present in foods of animal origin, such as meat, eggs, fish, milk, and its derivatives. They're also found in some plant foods, although to a lesser extent, such as soybeans, legumes, cereals, and nuts. On the other hand, a key nutrient in adults is vitamin B12, which is essential for brain function. The best sources of vitamin B12 are eggs, milk, lean meats, fish, and fortified foods like cereals and grains. Finally, it's recommended to drink around 2 liters of water per day and walk or jog for 2-3 to three hours per week distributed in the way that is most practical for the person.